Hello, crafty friends. It's Erica, Scrafty of 29. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great today. Well, I'm back on with another design team package. This time it's from KS Craft and they have a new release and it's awesome. And I'm so excited to share what they sent. So I'm going to start with this alphabet set. It is adorable. As you can see, you get the complete alphabet and then you also get um, numbers that come with this set as well. And these letters measure approximately a little over one and a half inches in the height, in case you're wondering, and they are all uppercase letters. Um, I did um, die cut out the A. You can create shaker letters out of this die set, or you can just use it um, as a letter itself without a shaker. So I made one example. I did the A. Look how cute that is. I'll get a little bit closer. I used some tiny little seed beads in there and um, I did use my five millimeter foam uh, from the Wandi Etsy store uh, to create this little shaker. And I like the five millimeter versus the three just because it stands out a little bit more and you can put a little bit more uh, bits and sequence in there. Uh, so that's what that looks like. I think it's so cute and you can, you know, just imagine um, spelling out somebody's name and I think that is so cute. So that is the alphabet set that's new in the KS Craft Store. And then, um, actually let me show you, this is the piece, if you don't turn it into a shaker, this is the piece that falls out. So you can use everything that you die cut. If you create the shaker, also create the letter. And if you're not gonna use the letter, just save it for your next project and you'll have it ready to go. Again, using that five millimeter foam, um, which is awesome. So it looks really awesome both ways you can use this um, letter, um, letter set. So love that. All right, let me move that out of the way. All right, moving along to the next die set. We've got tons of Halloween dies that are new in their store. These two sets right here actually create a cauldron and there is a large version and also a smaller version. We actually did cut out the large version. Look how big it is. It is a great size as you can see and I'm just turning it around. But look how cute that is. And then I did use the KS Craft Star bow die uh, to put on the front. And then this spider actually comes with another die set, which I'm going to share with you in just a second. Um, and I just did a paper handle, but you could definitely do ribbon or whatever you want. But it's adorable. And then you have plenty of room to stick inside for goodies. So that is new. I'm going to set that off to the side and move along. So the next die set that I want to share with you are these words and they are Halloween words and these are so cute and um, they do come with a shadow piece and there's four words. Um, so you have spooky. Look how cool that looks with the purple. I love Halloween crafting because I get to use a lot of purple cardstock, especially purple glitter. Um, so I'm loving that and I love the font. So there's one right there. There's spooky. And then we have the word eek. Look how cute that is. And then the next two are scary. You get scary. And then also gal, which I think gal is my favorite out of this whole little set. How cute is that? I'm loving this set right here. And I actually did die cut it out with um, some other uh, glitter cardstock that I thought would be fun for Halloween. So I have them ready to go when I'm ready to make a project. And the silver cardstock looks really nice on top of that black shiny cardstock. And you can get that at Hobby Lobby. And then these two, I actually used some adhesive um, iridescent star paper that I had in my stash. And I think that looks kind of cool as well. So that's the new uh, Halloween word set. And then on the back, I have the spider web rosette. And you see that spider right there? That's what I used on the front of that cauldron. Uh, so there's two sizes to this rosette. This is the large rosette and this is the smaller rosette. So you can make two different sizes. It does come with this little strip right here, which is used for um, if you wanted to cut your rosette down to make it smaller, you would be able to attach it um, to whatever length you want and then fold on those little cut lines or the little score lines, I should say. 
So really, really fun. I actually did cut out the larger one. Let me show you what it looks like. Look how cool this spider rosette is. Isn't that awesome? So you can make a large one or you can make a small one. Um, and it's just, you know, really easy to cut out and a lot of fun. So that is new in their shop. And then moving along, we have tons and tons of Halloween. So this one right here actually creates a shaker spider and it comes with the little body and the pieces to create the shaker and it is stitched, which I'm loving. So that is new. And then we have this little die set right here. This is a ghost die set. And remember to check the description box below for the product information. I will have everything linked down below so that you can go to the store and check out their examples because they have lots of examples. And as you can see, this ghost is stitched. You can turn it into a shaker. It has several different eye options. And look at the ones with the little hearts. How cute is that? And then they have these ones over here. Adorable, right? So that is new. And then we have a witch hat that looks like this. And it's a nice size embellishment. I like the size, it's not too big. And then you can, looks like you can probably turn this into a shaker as well. And then you have the pieces to decorate the hat, which is that little part right there, the little, um, what is that called? You guys know, it's stitched, <laughs> super cute. And then moving along to the next one, this one is actually a cauldron and it is a cauldron shaker set. So I'll take it out so you guys can see. These are the pieces. So you get everything to make a cauldron. You have the fire that you can put on top, the bubbles, this set of bubbles, looks like a little dead fish, <laughs> and then pieces to embellish the cauldron. So how fun is that? And again, you can turn this into a shaker. Lots of shaker Halloween embellishments in this uh, new release. This set right here is a ghost set, and I believe it's a boy and girl ghost, and it's adorable. Again, go to the store and check out the example. It's um, super, super cute. So you can create a girl ghost, and they're both separate. So you can create the girl, which has flowers, and then you can create a boy ghost that has the bow tie and then the top hat, and then there's the bow for the girl, and then you have the little face options right here so that you can decorate your little ghost embellishment. Again, great size, and then it also comes with this word that reads trick or treat, which is separate, so you can use this um, separately as an embellishment. How cool is that? Loving that set right there. And then we do have a stamp set that's new, and I'm gonna try to, let me see if I have a piece of paper. I was gonna take, maybe I'll take this out so you guys can see the stamp set a little bit better. But this one has um, lots of different sentiments. So it has made just for you, XXX. I know it's just a card, but I made it just for you. Um, handmade and heartfelt. Handmade because I care. So this is like a handmade stamp sentiment right here. That is new. And then there's also this one right here which is a Halloween stamp set. And it reads spooky Halloween, boo, trick or treat, scream, ghost and gals rule. And then you've got a bunch of little, other little stamps on this set, super fun. So that is new. All right, moving along, we have another Halloween embellishment. And this is a pumpkin and you can create a jack-o-lantern as well and you can turn this into a shaker. And it also has the words that read, thank you. So um, you could totally use this for fall. And look at the size of that pumpkin. Isn't that beautiful? Um, this one measures approximately four and a quarter inches in the length. So it's a great size pumpkin. And then you get the little jack-o-lantern face right here. You get the word, thank you, with the shadow pieces. And then you have this piece right here, which is the layering piece. So you could totally turn that into a shaker. And then you have the word that reads thankful, and then it has two leaves. So you can use this for either Halloween or for fall. So that is a really nice set. It's a two in one. <laughs> so that is new. And then we have this shaker bat, and I will take it out so that you guys can see. Again, I like the size of these embellishments but it just looks like that. That's the base piece and there's the layering piece. So you can totally turn that into a shaker 
And this bat measures, let's see, approximately four and three quarters in the uh, length. So great size there. And then moving along, more Halloween, you guys. Okay, so this next set is a little ghost set and it's so, so cute. Let me take it out and I did die cut this one. I just thought it was adorable. So this is the actual die set right here. So you get that little jack-o'-lantern, like a jack-o'-lantern uh, candy bag. And then it also comes with a bow. This is the layering piece for the ghost. So you get a girl and a boy. And I'm trying to take it all out so I can show you. Okay, so here are the ghost dies and they are stitched as you can see. So cute. So this one is the girl, this one is the boy. And then let me just show you what it looks like. So there's the girl and there's the boy. And look at that cute little jack-o'-lantern pail. So you can layer it and look at the stitching detail on the jack-o'-lantern. Isn't that so cute? So I am loving this little embellishment set right here. That is adorable. Love that one. All right, moving along, we have a few more dies to share. Okay, another Halloween bag topper, and it looks like this, and it reads the word boo, and you can totally turn this into a shaker. You get the base piece, and you get the word boo and the layering piece to create the shaker. It's a great size. Again, you can use it as a bag topper, or you can just use it as an embellishment. And it measures, whoops, let's see, approximately about four and three eighths of an inch in the length. So it's a great size, and I did cut this one out so you guys could see. Again, using my purple glitter cardstock, which I love. Um, and then I just created a fun little mix of sequins. I used my little Halloween mix that I had, and then I also put some purple iridescent sequins in there. And then these tiny little spiders, these little iridescent spiders, I actually hauled those off of AliExpress last year, and I can link them in the description box below if I can find them. Um, but they're fun to add to your Halloween embellishments. So there's the bag topper. Um, so you can see the full uh, bag topper. And again, you would just stick this on so like so on your bag, your goodie bag. Or you can just cut this piece off, snip it off, put it on a card. That would be super cute, a Halloween card. Um, so loving that one. And then the next, there's a few more dies to show. There's a, um, the next one is this one right here. This actually is a popsicle and you can create a shaker popsicle and this is perfect for summertime crafting. And I like, it has the little, the little drips of ice cream that you can also add. And they look a little bit different so you can create a little different theme. You also get a layering piece for the handle of the popsicle stick. Super cute. And then the next die that's new is this one right here. And it's like a nested, like kind of like, you could put it on a card and you would die cut it out and it would kind of create, I think like a window where you can pop it open. So you get a nested set and there's one, two, three, four, five. Again, check the store for the example so you can see what this die looks like. And then we're moving along. We have this die set right here. This actually is a tag and you could totally use it as a bookmark if you wanted to. Because when I first saw it, I was thinking, oh, this is a bookmark. But then I looked at the example and I was like, oh. So what you have is this beautiful tag with a scalloped edge. You got a stitched little reinforced piece right there. And then you've got this layering piece that you can also add that's also stitched and it has the hole. And then you have this little piece right here. If you guys remember, I had created a caddy, I don't know, a few weeks back and I used a tag and I made a box and I had two tags on both sides of the caddy and then I had little um, hangers that I created. So they came up with a die set um, to use if you wanted to create a little caddy, a gift caddy. So you could take this and create a box and then they have a little hanger that you can hang it on the straw. I used a straw for mine. And so they have this really decorative, cute little piece that you can use to um, as a bag topper for your little goodies or your embellishments, and then you could hang it on the straw, if that makes sense. And I can link that video in the, the description box below so you can see the caddy that I made um, a few weeks ago if you missed that video. But this is really cute and I like the size. You could totally make a small, a small little caddy with this. And the width of this particular tag is approximately two and a half inches. So that's probably the, gonna be the width of your caddy box. 
um, in case you're wondering. But loving that one right there. And then last but not least, it's this die set right here. And this one's pretty awesome. This actually allows you to create 3D projects and these are different size tabs. So if you like turning um, uh, things into uh, boxes, this is probably a really um, awesome set to own. And all you have to do is cut these strips out. And what I like about it is, is that all you have to do is bend it. So if you had like a circle or something, it'd be so easy to just bend and fold and then create your um, border so that you can attach the other piece to create a box. Um, so you get one, two, three, you get six uh, dies in this set right here. So that is the new release for the KS Craft Store. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. Please check the description box below for the links to the products. Hope you guys have a great day. See you in my next video. Bye for now.